Back in the 1960s, the face of Air Force Dr. Dan Fulgham was one no astronaut wanted to see. Hello, James. Hello, Doctor. You ready for a little spin today? Yes. All right. This doesn't seem too threatening, this one, to be honest. It's like a roundabout. Well, the purpose of this device, of course, is to test your tolerance uh, to disorientation. Well, I've heard that astronauts actually fear Brooks Air Force Base. It's their least favorite place on the planet. Is that true? Well, not, not exactly, but uh, most pilots don't want to find out that they've got some shortcoming, if you would. So assuming I have a reasonable tolerance to your rotating chair, does that mean I am suitable for space flight? Could I potentially go and do a space mission? Uh, physically, uh, probably yes. Let's try it. Let's light this candle. You ready? Eyes closed, sir. So yes, sir. Here we go. Starting to spin. So I'm going to the right, mm -hmm. yes, clockwise. Poof. This is child's play. But I have a feeling it won't all be so easy. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Sergeant Scott, nice to meet you. James, hello. I think Sergeant Scott here has got something a bit less pleasant for me in his centrifuge chamber. This is where the torture peaked for the Apollo astronauts, too, where they were subjected to the crushing gravitational forces they'd experienced during the launch of the Saturn V rocket. Whoa! Smells a bit like an old jag I once had in here. Righto. We're gonna do 5G for 30 seconds, sir. 30? Yes, sir. And ignore it. <laughs> Three, two, Bracing. one, engage. And legs tight, deep breath. Oh. And I'm gonna top, breathe. Short and sharp, breathe. One, two, there you go. We'll stay with my count, breathe. One, two, three. Squeeze your legs, your butt. Three. OK, can you talk to me, sir? Yes. Your face doesn't feel very good. I can't move my arms. Oh, God. You still see all the green lights? Yeah. Three, you're doing a good job. One. And you're coming all the way down. Okay. You can relax. Oh, that was 30 seconds. Yes, sir. 5G, so a Saturn V launch, the burn of the first stage, you'd have to put up with that for about two and a half to three minutes. Then it would go suddenly to naught, then you'd have another couple of minutes at three, three and a half G. Wow. And that presumably is why they lie on their back, as I've just experienced GZ, or GZ as the Americans call it, that is the G is going that way and it pulls the blood out of your head goes down, that's where you've got to tense up your butt and your gut. Uh, if you're lying on your back, you don't get that problem so much. But then, of course, all that heaviness I felt in my arms, you'd feel in your chest, it would be like people sitting on you, and then that would make breathing very difficult. So either way, you've got to be... <laughs> you've got to be pretty tough. Whoa.